Hello, so this will be a review slash comparison of the Bare Minerals or Bare Essentials Prime Time Foundation Primer with the Smashbox Photo Finish um, Foundation Primer. And this has been requested by a couple of viewers. Let me find it. I don't know where it went. Oh, Enjoy the Ride and Stephanie have asked me to compare them. And what a foundation primer is, is something that you apply after your moisturizer, before your foundation, so that it will make your foundation apply more evenly and last longer throughout the day. And both, I found, have proven to be true. If you use a foundation primer, it will make your makeup, your liquid makeup, I've tried with Mineral Satin Finish Foundation, and your powder makeup, I've tried Bare Essentials, Milani, and Everyday Minerals, both wet and dry. It makes all those types of foundation stick better to your face and make it look smoother. So you can see right now, I'm wearing the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I highly recommend these, any of these types of things for those of you who wear mineral foundation in the dry powder form, you know, just using your kabuki brush, tapping and buffing and so forth because I found that the powder foundations kind of don't last as long because it doesn't really soak into your skin that well unless you use a fixing spray or if you apply it wet it doesn't really want to soak in so this is like a kind of like a good step to have it adhere better um, I believe these are silicon based I believe they are don't quote me but I believe they are which makes them kind of like slippery and kind of like greasy feeling so, and it kind of, I think it kind of, I don't know, settles into the pores and lines in your face to kind of make a smooth um, canvas to stick stuff on top of, and that, that's what I think, and that's what seems to be happening. So, when I first wore these, I was very, very afraid that they would cause my acne to be get worse, because they felt greasy, and just the thought of pulling silicon and, and stuff settling into your pores, you know, was not cool. You know, when you're, when you have acne, you don't want anything in your pores, you don't want greasy, you don't want oily, anything like that. So, but what I found is that when you use these, either of these two, the um, Prime Time or the Photo Finish Primer, it, it, it doesn't make my acne worse at all. Like, at all. Like, when, when my acne is bad, it doesn't make it worse. When my skin is good, it doesn't make it worse. So, that's my conclusion. I would not be afraid to try. So, if you try one of these, just see if it causes you acne, if it doesn't return it. But I really really think that they don't especially because I reacted ad adversely to foundations that are pore clogging and I react badly to oil cause after I go exercising and you know sweat and stuff and it's kind of sense my skin is kind of sensitive to that like it'll pick up on those changes so that's the first thing um this was actually a sample of Smashbox photo finish primer I never intended to buy it because I like prime time so much but I got to try both because I got this with the Smashbox purchase from Smashbox.com so maybe you, you too will be allowed to get one of these so I would go ahead and check that out and then I got this Bare Essentials Primetime one half ounce um, tube from eBay and I also got it paired with the Skin River Upper and the Skin River Upper is not a primer it feels more like a lotion that smells funky and I have no idea what that lotion is for but it doesn't have the consistency of a primer it might have priming properties, but I am not sure. I really don't think it does. It doesn't feel like these guys. Anyway, so the directions are to use a pea-sized amount for an even layer of this lightweight foundation all over your face. Um, and it says less is more. And once it's dry, follow with your foundation. So really all you need is a pea-sized amount. I mean, actually, some of it's coming out right now. It's kind of gross. And what it is is like a clear, goopy liquid. Actually, this is actually a lot more than you needed. It just happened to come out. And that's the prime time. And you can see it kind of just sticks. Like, it doesn't want to run down my hand. It's just kind of like a thick gloop. Goop. So what I found is sometimes, like, this pea-sized amount isn't enough for this, like, consistency, the thicker prime time. And I actually have to use probably this amount. Like, pea size would be, you know, if you cut it from, like, this point back like if that's like pea size but this whole amount is maybe what you might need to get a very very good coverage over your face it, it says less is more um, maybe you want I don't know if you want more go ahead I don't really see the difference but it, it's hard to like since you're so used to putting on moisturizer the first time you use a primer you might find that you're not putting anything on your face but just 
keep in mind that when you smear it, you're supposed to make a thin layer and just kind of feel the greasiness on your finger when you apply it and just kind of trust it. Like, make sure that the greasiness... I know it's kind of weird putting grease in your face, but feel, make sure the greasiness kind of is felt all over your face a little bit and then it will dry up. Um, I would recommend you taking, like, a third of it and dabbing it on your face in, in like little dabs and then smoothing it in because if you just take it directly from the blob to your face it might just soak in in that area so I definitely recommend dabbing first your left cheek right cheek your forehead and then your t-zone so maybe that's four so around four areas more or less of equal size so that's how I apply it and yeah so make sure you get that greasy feeling all over and then here is the photo finish in about the same amount. So you could see that the photo finish right here is starting to run down my hand. Like slowly. There it goes. Okay, I will just watch it. So that's the first thing I noticed about photo finish compared to prime time, that it is more liquid. I don't know if that means... I think it just means it has more water in it. I mean, that's the only thing I could really think of. Uh, and I find that it makes it easier to apply because it is more watery it can kind of spread all over your face like you can totally tell like this one's like a thick and this one's a thin so I, I really can't tell the difference between the two like when I wear them you know I don't find that one works better than the other like I'm saying it's a subtle difference anyway from no primer to primer but it definitely does do something but comparing this primer with this other primer that looks essentially the same but the Smashbox is just more liquidy I really can't tell which one works better. All I can really say is maybe the, the Smashbox is a liquidier version of Prime Time. So, um, I mean, that's all I really have to say about um, these things. Oh, wow, it looks like it kind of removed my makeup really well. Maybe it is oil-based, I don't know. It kind of just removed all the swatches on my hand with no problem. <laughs> That's kind of scary. Did you just see that? I had like paint pots. I had fluid line, guys. I had macrovial fluid line on my hand. And then I took this primer and I just smeared it all over with a cotton ball. And it's gone. That's scary. It's kind of odd because it's supposed to be sticking to your makeup. And in here it looks like it removes it. I am scared. Maybe it's oil based. Anyway. That is my comparison slash review on these guys. I definitely recommend you going out and getting one. I can't say which one's better or worse. But get which one's cheaper. Try it, and then when you run out, get another one. I even recommend just getting sample sizes because these things last forever. Like this guy I got in the mail, and I've probably used it five or six times. It, it's probably good for 30 uses, and this is only like 0.2 fluid ounces. This is 0.5. Gosh, you know, these things last a long time, and they're definitely worth the investment. I am not sure how they go in, um, how they will work in the summertime because I've only worn them in the fall and winter. And yeah, so that's my review. If you have any questions, let me know. If you know their ingredients, I should have looked it up for you guys. I'm very sorry. If you know their ingredients, if they have poor clogging properties, do post below. And just share with us your experiences with the two. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.